Now, Kenya is set to host an African Science Week in the capital Nairobi. Actually, that took place uh, earlier. The forum aims to raise awareness of the importance of science and technology, especially amongst young people in the country. It will also serve as an opportunity for stakeholders to foster collaboration around science and technology on the continent. Now, organizers say that the, with the right investment environment, innovation in Kenya can lead to real economic dividends. Most African countries commit just 1% of its their GDP to scientific research and development. Experts say this hampers Africa's ability to transform itself sustainably. Now, the week-long event is a joint initiative by several organizations, including the African Institute for Mathema Mathematical Sciences and the Next Einstein Forum. Now joining me in the studio is Sylvia Mukasa. She's an ambassador at the Next Einstein Forum, one of the organizations hosting the event. Welcome to the studio. Thank you, Richard. Now, like we mentioned, the event took place uh, earlier on and would like to talk a little, bit, a little bit about what took place there. Now, at the Africa Science Week, uh, you discussed recalibrating innovation in Kenya. First and foremost, do you think this is something that needs to be done in in quotes, Africa's silicon uh, savanna. Yes, I actually think uh, not much investment has gone into this. Uh, there's been a lot of activity in Nairobi, for example, but the peripheries of the country, other regions, have really not um, been tapped into. So this, this investment and uh, areas for incubation need to be spread across the whole country, and the concentration should, ju should just not be in Nairobi alone. Mm. Yeah. Which makes sense. And uh, you talked about one of your main aims being fostering discussion and monetary commitments towards research and development in Kenya. Tell me a bit more about uh, what you mean by that. Okay, like you mentioned earlier, uh, most African countries have not committed a lot uh, in terms of the GDP, um, uh, in, in terms of what they put in for uh, investments and for research. South Africa is the only country that has committed 1% of its GDP by 2020. So generally, African countries are lagging behind, Kenya included. And this is why the, there needs to be this uh, conversation about money going into uh, science and, and research. And I feel that um, th there's need for this because we need to get um, money to support some of the innovative ideas in the research that is going on. Without that happening, then very little will be achieved mm. here. Now, who do you think the onus is on? Uh, the private sector? Uh, people setting up, I these people setting up incubators, the government? Where do you think uh, we, sh we need to look to to find some of these commitments, for example? Okay, government is one, a private sector is another, and I individuals as well. Because we do find uh, the philanthropists, for example, who are willing to put their money out there. We don't see a lot of philanthropy um, in Kenya and generally Africa, and yet this, this is one way of supporting this. Private sector also hasn't put in much, and I think part of the reason is because um, most of the time they do not see the value to tap into this. So um, a lot of stakeholders need to play part in this. Uh, the general public also has a part to play and uh, the young people need to reach out to the right people. And universities, for example, need to provide uh, mentors for you know, the young people mm -hmm. so that they're able to achieve uh, whatever they're up to uh, because they have people to look up to. Yeah. Mm. Now tell me more about what you're hoping to achieve with this Africa uh, a Science Week. You, you said your objective is to develop tomorrow's scientists and technologists. So how do you plan to do that? Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, the Africa Science Week was actually the maiden one that the next Einstein Forum has held. Uh, this has never happened before. And so this happened in 13 African countries across, uh, across all the regions in Africa. Mm. And uh, this Af Africa Science Week is expected to be an annual event, which will cover three to five days, um, discussing um, areas around uh, science, technology, innovation, and our mathematics as well. And um, the next Einstein Forum hopes that through this, we will be able to tap into this um, group of, of stakeholders that we are talking about, private sector and government, and other players as well. Um, by 2018, the next Einstein Forum expects 
to hold the Africa Science Week in 30 African countries. And uh, by 2020, all the 54 uh, countries, because um, we have a presence in all the 54 African countries with an ambassador in each of those countries. Mm. So um, this is how the Science Week um, will be able to reach out to you know, all the stakeholders that I've just mentioned, and hopefully that will be able to convince our uh, private sector and governments that they need to put in the support, be it monetary or through other ways, to ensure that our science and innovation and technology actually thrives in, yeah. in the countries. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, many thanks for joining us in the studio and for giving us uh, that update. Of course, that was Sylvia Mokasa. She's an NEF ambassador.